and see how it affected us. Sorry for making it like that. This is the part where I say, "Oh." I have two major things to tell you today. Major. First of all, Zingwei, that's Chingwei, and Zion are back together. Secondly, people are already fighting in the house. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Lucy's Quick One, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, yesterday was fire. This day was really fire and I know that I usually come in and out because of work but I have the details for you back to back now in case you do not know this is our Godwin couple this couple that they've been loving from day one up until now had a very serious argument yesterday and this is what led to the argument so in case you do not know Shinwei and Zion are a pair and yesterday they had the argument about the fact that Chin Wei was being accused of being the difficult one amongst the both of them being the rigid one the one who does not want to like socialize with other people who just thinks of herself as the high and mighty who just thinks of herself as proud while zion is like the calm one so she was hearing discussions and accusations to that effect that's one then secondly Chin Wei was pissed because you know it felt like some ladies are started making advances at a man who is Zion and he's, he's kind of like condoning the whole thing and then this turned into a very serious thing so by the time Zion goes to talk to Chin Wei who formed the Zing Wei pair about what actually what's going on why are you upset why are you angry she like blows up you're asking me why am I pissed you're my social work. okay so I'm social I'm so what so <laughs> this argument between both of them now resulted into their wager presentation just being one way or the other and I was just looking at both of them I was like hmm what's really going to happen so one thing I just noticed however is that a lot of people immediately after this um argument or the fight started making their own you know conclusions started sharing their own opinions some of these opinions I did not agree with so some people call that insecure some people call her proud some people said oh since she's the one that begged for the relationship she's the one driving the relationship look at the way she talked to her guy this one that one a lot of people were just like arguing and complaining about Chin Wei when it comes to Chin Wei and Zion's relationship but one thing that I did notice is that I just think that the problem that they had was a communication problem and that was what caused this whole thing you know when it comes to relationships i am no expert but one thing i know is that one of the things that keeps the both parties together is communication you already know how this guy likes to be talked to you already know what happens with this girl sometimes when she's seen certain things happen so why don't you just communicate now this morning after the whole argument from yesterday this morning we had the boys they were talking and i really enjoyed their conversation because you know guys they really don't have issues to be honest i'm gonna say it here without being sorry about it they don't have issues so they were just there talking we had oc oz there was nikki there was femi there was even sean and then there was zion they were talking about the whole issue that happened yesterday with chingui and zion and one of the things that oc said that struck me was the fact that you see guy was telling zion said guy this is the house and you are in a relationship there are certain things that you will do that will probably affect your baby. Just try not to do it. Now, probably Nelly was touching you and you were like, oh, you have talent and all of that. If that is going to trigger your baby, don't allow it. The moment it's coming, just find a way to dodge it. And I think that's just it. Communication. If you know that your baby is the kind of person that gets jealous easily, instead of calling her insecure first, tell her, see, it's like this baby is coming on to me. In the case of Kelly Ray and Cassia, you can see that at some point, Cassia was already giving Kelly Ray gist about Toby just to forestall any form of problem. You know, when they are on their own, they just, she was just giving a look at what he said today, look at what he said yesterday, look at what he's saying tomorrow, all those kind of things. So if you know that this is the kind of babe that you are with, just communicate that and say, babe, this and that is happening. But ladies and gentlemen, that's not even the thing. So right now, they are no longer fighting, which is what makes me happy. Because at the end of the day, Zion walks up to Ching Wei and they have a conversation. Now, this conversation was something that they should have had at the beginning. They were having it now and it's all good. So Zion comes and says, see, I can't come into the house and come and be cheating on you. We are playing the game. 
they are probably seeing that we have great synergy and they are trying to like infiltrate us so we should not allow it happen and she was like yeah that's the thing that she felt that he was already supporting them when they were calling her rigid and that's why she felt hurt because of all people not to support her her own man was not supporting her so she had the conversation and then they apologized and then they called and then it was like i missed you she was like i missed you too and he said i'm sorry and she said i'm sorry too the end Guys, yeah, I was like, I'm so happy that it didn't linger for too long because somehow, even though the Zing Wei pair are saying they're not playing the game, they're just living and vibing, I would rather them have that on a very, very interesting level to entertain us. But however, nobody will deny the fact that the fact that these guys fought made the show more interesting from last night into today. Let's see what happens with them. Will they still have more fights? Because relationship, you know the way it goes. We'll find out as we go forward. Now, the second major thing that is happening that I'm bringing to your attention is the fact that tensions are rising in the house. You know how the houses have been very, very nice to each other, singing Kumbaya, forming coalition, or, or forming unions with each other. It seems that a lot of things are already burning. And that started when or before the wager presentation. So when they had their first practice, I noticed that there was already tension amongst peers where you would see Suj and, uh, and Tofa saying, oh my god, I didn't give my best at the practicals. Onyeka and Chizoba were already having back and forth as sisters. You could see small, small, small tension and the fact that they were not starting to remember that they are in a competition. Now, going on, on to the wager presentation, which at the end of the day, they lost their wager, made tensions to increase. And one of the major things that causes fights in the house is always food. But talking about the wager presentation, I enjoyed some of the presentation that with Double K, that was so creative. I love that with the radicals. I'll be talking about those guys really shortly. And I also enjoyed Ndene. I felt that they were really. We like it theatrical um, that's the word however one thing that i'm very expectant of right now is the party the reason i'm expectant about the party is because a lot of people are waiting for certain things to unveil both the housemates and with the audience for the housemates they really want to see what is going on between cassia and kelly ray that formed the pair double k can you imagine that this morning even sean was asking cassia like what's going on like what happened with your relationship? Like you were dating before. How long have you been single? Come on, five years. I need to find out. Okay. I'm interested in this story. I'm interested. I think the past is going to really open up a lot of things about Double K. I really hope that they have their games in check. And then we'll also find out more about certain friendships and certain ships. Some ships are going to sail. However, remember that it's a game. So I'm looking forward to the friendship or ship of. Ben and Chizoba, and in case you have not noticed, there is a communication between Mayo and Rufi. Like this morning, they were having a conversation, and you could see that Mayo was like, What do you actually want from this friend? And he's like, ah. Rufi is like, I'm just here to enjoy myself. And he's like, Are you sure you don't want more? I'm like, Mayo, what, what is it? Is it that you're, you're lonely? Is it because your pair is already like looking at another man's wife? Are you lonely? What is the issue here? Let everybody have some before we start hearing stories that touch. And the last but not the least, friendship or relationship I'm looking forward to right now is that of Fermi and Victoria. Now, Fermi has been dropping, dropping hints about how he likes Victoria because somehow she's giving Nengi vibes. I'm just like, let's see how it goes. So guys, let me know what you think about the party that is coming up right now. Let me know what you think about the Zinwe pair that are back together and let me know what you think about the tensions in the house are you seeing what i am seeing even handy and wani they're already talking it's already it's already hitting up but remember that these guys have to remember that they should not lose guard they're already lose guarding they are lose guarding let me know what you think about this in the comment section i got you more next time till then have an amazing weekend Bye.